Well, let's see what's in this box. I feel like doing a little unboxing video. As you guys can see, it must be something from IMR, the Potter Company. It's a pretty big box, though. I don't think that's only uh, gun powder. But yeah, that's the first time I've opened it up. I, I just cut it to save time in the video. But let's see. Ooh, overpack. Let's see. Oh, there's something in that box. So it looks like I do get to do some cutting. Ooh, that's a heavier one. All right, we can dispose of that box. Let's see, guys. Should I do the big box or the heavier one first or the lighter one first? I'll sit down and let you guys figure it out. Well, I know some of you were thinking this box or thinking the heavy one. That one could be a... Uh, Oh, I forget which one's which. Let's go with the lighter box, shall we? Kind of hard to like. Get that all cut there. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Paper. Paper's a good thing. Newspaper, that's really good. Let's just go chuck that in there. More paper. Oh, oh, you guys didn't see that. There's more paper in here. Okay, looks like they have my IMR 4227 powder that I'm going to be testing in my uh, 7.62 by 39 loads. There's the bullets right there. And the horny stuff. So, looks like I get to test this stuff out. I'll let you guys know how it um, turns out. Right now I'm using Accurate 1680. Uh, this is the only powder I found available online. I mean like anywhere. You go to Pyra Inc., Graf and Sons, Wideners, Mid-South Shooters. There's tons of online uh, sites that carry reloading components, powders, all that stuff. And this was basically the only stuff available um, for my caliber, for the rifle, my SKS. Uh, I mean, I could have bought some stuff in store, but it's like double the price, so uh, I'm not that badly in need of reloading. And also, there's a box of PPU, some FMJ. I believe this stuff was like 11 bucks for 20. Uh, there's probably some more in this bin. So cool. Actually, we'll keep these out. We can dispose of that box. Now for the heavier one. You look at that grain, that cardboard. Much easier to cut this box because the box is heavier, so it actually stays put when you cut it. Oh, more paper. Oh, oh, this guy likes this. I like this a lot. The rest of my Four boxes. I ordered five boxes. That's they had to split up, and now they're reunited again. So yeah, I got uh, some more PPU FMJ. One reason why I'm buying this stuff. Uh, I mean, I could have bought more. I think I bought a whole other box. It should be all PPU. Is the stuff actually shoots really great out of my SKS? Um, I shot the. I think it was the soft point, the SP PPU um, ammunition, so it was the, the soft point. Those actually gave me my best results for accuracy out of my SKS when I shot it last. So I don't know if it's just a little luck of the draw thing. Uh, that's a, a rant, oh, they all, all the ammos I tested, there's another video of it. They all were... Uh, Pretty darn close to each other, but it seemed like I had a, a better 
overall grouping with the uh, soft point PPU stuff. And also the reason why I'm using this is this is uh, probably my uh, most f my f most favorite brass right now to reload with. Uh, I just put a video up on this stuff. You can see this stuff is 15 bucks for 20 rounds. That's a little much. That's not bad if you're going to shoot it, but for reloading, I just want to get it as cheap as possible to begin with. And this stuff shoots well, so I can uh, shoot all these rounds and then uh, have some good brass to reload with. Uh, I'm not sure I mentioned in another video. I can shoot this and then uh, I believe I can reload it around three times on average before it would need trimming. So that's pretty good. Uh, the previous video, this box I shot once and it would have to be um, trimmed down before I could even reload it the first time. So that stuff's never getting bought again. Plus it's more expensive. This stuff was like 11 something through I believe it was Widener's website. And I got tons of beautiful primers. Large rifle boxer primers to be exact. Not one. Not two. Not three or four. But five boxes of large rifle primers each was like 31 bucks which is really really cheap I mean yeah you go pay the uh, 27.50 for the hazmat like the hazard shipping stuff so I figured I might as well go buy um, instead of, cause I'm, I'm really only going to be needing maybe a, a couple thousand of these in the next uh, couple years, so uh, I'll have a few thousand left over to sell or just to have and keep forever. I'll just wrap these up, put them in a nice dry storage area, and just let them sit for a while. But uh, yeah, definitely took um, advantage of the uh, extra shipping fees because I got a uh, pound of powder, which is nice because I only have one pound right now and they only last like 300 rounds, I think. Uh, that's the bad thing about rifles. Pistol, you could sh you could get like a good couple thousand rounds, maybe like 1,500 rounds or something out of a pound of powder, a rifle. Nope, it's about like two to 300 depending what rifle you got. I mean, what caliber you're loading. But, yeah, I can't wait to do some more shooting and reloading. I got all my brass to use once I shoot this. So it'll take a while. I get to uh, shoot all this nice ammo, and then I get to reload it when I'm done with all these things here. So uh, I will let you guys go and uh, keep you up um, updated on what's going on. Uh, how these primers work. I've only loaded maybe 20 rounds so far. They've worked flawlessly. And I'll let you guys know how this powder works. Uh, once I'm empty with my uh, accurate 1680, it's getting there. But uh, yeah, I just want to see what this stuff, how it functions. So that's it for the video, guys. I'm going to get back to my reloading here. Or shooting, I have to shoot first to reload, so uh, it's a, a double fun, or I say it's a win-win uh, situation because it's fun to go shoot, but then it's fun to go sit here and load my own ammunition and save myself some good money. Uh, I'll, I will quickly throw in here. Um, I haven't quite figured out the prices of all this stuff. I mean, yeah, if I could buy. Um, a good eight pound bin container of this powder I could reload for cheaper but um, no one's really selling big containers of powder unless you had the hookup I mean I could barely just find one powder uh, one pound containers of powder and usually they're a little more money so I think yeah so as of right now I can reload for about like seven bucks seven to eight dollars 
for 20 rounds using these little more expensive Z-Max bullets and also the uh, Accurate 1680 that I paid like 30 bucks for uh, back when gun stuff was really expensive beginning of this 2013 year. So uh, yeah, it's about it's about seven bucks for 20 rounds of um, good quality ammunition. So I uh, can't wait. Start saving some money once I shoot all this stuff. So uh, take care, guys. Sorry this video kind of got a little long for the 10 minutes, but. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, stay tuned for way more videos.